What is up guys, I'm Glacio and today I'll be doing some more um, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for the Nintendo Switch uh, In the last episode we made it into Gerudo Town It is Gerudo And now we have to go to the Yiga Clan hideout and steal the Thunder Helm back from them From them Uh-oh. I, I almost... Oh my god, that was close. I almost spilled water on my mic. Hang on. I have to... Uh. Okay, we're good. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and borrow a sand seal here because it's so much faster to go via sand seal than on foot. And also, it, it does get cold at night, so... Keep that in mind, you're gonna want some cold resistance or you can spend the night in an inn and then go in the morning. We don't have to do that because we have cold armor. So sand seal uh, riding is actually something we've never done before. We've done horse riding but this... Uh, it's, I mean, this is pretty cool. Uh, the mechanics are basically the same. You hit A to dash when you slow down, and... Just stay away from any obstacles or cliffs or anything of the sort. And you should be fine. And yeah, so as you can see, I have, uh, I kind of went and mapped all the memories off screen so we have that already uh, marked on the map for when we're gonna need it which is pretty awesome I'm pretty happy that I cut out the time to do that because doing that on video would have been horrible and I don't know where they all are so but now we have them marked so we don't have to know and that's awesome Uh, yeah, but this game, it, it's, the game is coming to an end, I mean, I mean, not really, not yet, we still have to do Vana Boris, the memories, and the Master Sword. Well, I expect, like, six to seven more episodes, and, yeah, that's it, then. Like I said, uh, the extra stuff, like all the, the other quests... You know, I'll be- I'll do them if I feel like it, but not right after I finish the game. Maybe down the road I can come back to the game. And I know I say that about, like, many games, but, you know, for this one I actually could do it. But who knows? Who knows what the future holds? Uh, but don't expect, um, like, once we beat Ganon, then that'll be the finale. And then, I mean, we can come back later, but not right away. Maybe like, I don't know, in a couple months. One month, I don't know. So yeah, these Yiga Clan archers, they drop duplex bows. Which is great. Uh, we have actually a triple bow, the Great Eagle Bow. Which was given to us by the Elder of the Rito Village. Uh, but duplex is also really great. Any kind of multiplier bow is awesome. So yeah, uh, the Yiga Clan hideout is actually a part of the story that many people have an issue with. Uh, mainly because um, if the guards spot you, then they raise the alarm and they trap you and they kill you very efficiently and quickly. Uh, because those wind cleavers deal just a bunch of damage. No, I didn't get anybody. Oh, I got you. I'd miss, like, every single shot. Oh, I'm badly damaged. Ow. Ah, oh, god damn it. Hang on. Oh, you're being sneaky with the tactics, I see. Boom! Okay, one more dude, come on. Uh, 
Yeah, the wind cleavers do a bunch of damage. The wind cleavers are uh, the weapons that are used by the melee uh, warriors in the Yiga clan. And also, it's not just like one dude, a bunch of them come and get you. So, I really hope we don't get spotted, uh, because if you do, you're basically dead anyway. Uh, would be pretty nice not to... Not to get seen. So, hang on, there's a secret entrance here, I think. I think it's the right... The one right from the one that's straight ahead, like the... If straight ahead is 12 o'clock, then the one that's 1 o'clock, I think. Yeah, this one. Uh, maybe? Do I remember correctly? Oh, awesome. I guess I do. Let's go. So this is actually uh, the warrior sh uh, Captain Teak told us about. Mm. I mean, they do like bananas. Uh, you can definitely distract them with bananas. Uh, but I mean, we're just gonna use our bombs because I oh, know we. I mean, no need to really waste. Oh shit. No, oh, that was lucky. I oh, he oh my god, he could have seen me. <laughs> hey, hey, dude! Ah, oh, damn, he saw me. No, I guess. Well, I mean, yeah, that works too. Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry! Oh, we're good. So now you're gonna want to go up here. Because it's much easier to just, you know, do the business when you drop from the top. And also, here in the back, they have a whole stash of bananas. So, that is freaking awesome. Again, get those heals. 21. Heal up to full health. We have a topaz, which... Great, good, fine. Not complaining. Okay, I think I can- yep, okay, we're good. Ah, oh, there's a guy at the door, I'm gonna have to distract him too. Ooh, 100 rupees! Okay. I'm gonna have to distract this guy somehow. Alright, you. Just drop it down. Hey! Well, what's that, you ask? Hmm, I don't know. Oh, thank god, okay. And uh, now this is the final room. So you'd expect the Thunder Helm to be here, but no. It's just a mighty banana. I'm just gonna... Ooh, another bow. I'm just gonna loot around a bit, you know. There's some chests over here we can take. Let's see what's in you. Oh, more topaz. Alright. I'll take it. Yep. And you have... Wow, okay. That's interesting. Let me guess. Topaz. Oh, no. Ruby. Damn. The game likes to prove me wrong. And ten arrows. So where you want to go now, this is actually a secret wall. I'm not sure how this is metal, but I mean... As long as I can move it, I don't really care. So, we're gonna wanna... Oh, oh. Okay, and now here comes one of the easier boss battles in the game. Definitely one of the easier ones. And also, this is like the only story boss battle that isn't Ganon or some form of Ganon. Which is pretty cool. Hey. Hey, dude. Oh, my God. You've been eating. You've been looking.
looking for me? Well, you know, I've come for the Thunder Helm, so... Yeah, that's the leader of the Ego Clan. Master Cogger! He's really not hard to beat. The only trick he has is making these balls. So yeah, you're gonna wanna... Oh, I missed. You're gonna wanna bomb him, so... Uh, but you don't wanna get too close because he'll run away again. So throw the bomb, wait until his blue is gone, and then... Yeah, we'll just drop on him. And I'm hitting him with a torch. Great. He is very strong, though. The only real damage you'll be able to get in is uh, with a uh, boy dropping balls on him. So wait until the blue goes away. And... Boom! That was not too good, but never mind. We got him still. Like I said, the hits you get once you drop him, they're not really great. Okay. Oh, it's not... Uh, that's phase two. No, I mean phase one. Phase two is even easier, in my opinion. I mean, this is just... This fight is stupidly easy. So yeah, now you're gonna wanna wait until these balls get on top of him, and then shoot him with the arrow, and it will drop on him. Boom! And you can hit him. Oh, I, I don't wanna... Nah, I guess I can use it. I don't wanna waste it, but I mean... No, I don't care, really. I'll just do that again, then. Like that. Yeah, thanks, Zaruk, but I don't think it'll be necessary. And now for the third and final phase. He makes... This. And... It's just the easiest thing ever. You just take it and drop it on him. Boom. And uh, then you just wait for him to do it again, and you do it again, and that's it. That's the fight. Crazy hard, I know. Ah, hmm. uh, I think you are. Okay, come on. Let, let's see what other tricks you have. My father's mother's father. Jesus. Now, I think this boss fight is more like a joke than an actual boss fight. I mean, he does this after he has seen that I can control metal. But thankfully... You know, I, I don't even have to control it. He he just does himself in on his own. So yeah, like I said, pretty much a joke, you know. So many people have actually a lot of trouble with the Yiga clan. We've done it in 14 minutes. And that's also, like with the time that uh, it took us to get to the Yiga clan from Gerudo Town. So it can really be done in 15 minutes if you know what's going on. And there we go. Now back to Gerudo Town and thankfully we can teleport because we have a shrine unlocked. So long Master Kogger, you will be missed. We need six more shrines to have enough for the uh, Master Sword. We'll get there. We'll get there. Just gonna go ahead. Uh, 
Hang on. Just checking something. Okay. Now, this game is not like Skyrim. It just deletes all the... Um, your previous saves on its own. So this uh, outfit we're wearing, it's not, it doesn't have heat resistance on its own, but if you have the entire set, then it gives you just a one time, like, bonus of heat resistance, I guess. But on its own, the clothes aren't heat resistant at all. Oh, somebody with a quest over there. Hey. What's the matter? Hi, huh, you've run out of flint. Well, I think I have ten flints. Do I not? Mm. Oh, we can make some powerful jewels. I think we have. Do we, do we not have ten flints? Uh. Mm. Yeah, here, here's some flint. Oh, we we don't really flint. Seriously? Huh? Oh, arrows. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I want to buy these. Oh, 10. They have 30 fire arrows. They have 30 of each arrow and 60 bomb arrows. That, uh, can I, how do I talk to this person? Do I, what? Can I, like, go around, maybe? Oh, there we go. Uh, I just want to buy, I don't want to hear about your daughter, thank you, buy from me. Uh, thank, uh, luckily I've just got some crazy good, oh my god, we have nine flints, are you kidding me? Oh, yes, please. I'm going to be able to buy so many arrows. It's going to be awesome. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm good. Okay, let's buy. Six hundred. How do I not have enough? I have enough for these? Oh, 20! That's a uh, that's 1,800. Oh. I don't have enough. I can buy, like, 20, I think. Yeah, I'll go ahead and go for one set, and then I can buy... Uh... You know, I'll take, uh... I'll take your, those fire arrows off your hands, you know? There you go. I, th I think we're good. I think we have a pretty good arsenal now. Oh, that was an awesome purchase. Duh, where's the... Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't see the point on my map. Hello. I've retrieved your freaking helm. Don't lose it again, please. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, great. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just get it out of my pocket. I mean, you know, it's a helm. Oh, memory. Okay. Oh, we're going to be seeing so many freaking memories in the episodes after this. Okay, I'll shut up now. You certainly got here fast. I should have expected as much from the princess's own appointed knight. She was out on a survey all day today. 
Still as the sands now. So, spill it, boy. Have the two of you been getting along all right? <laughs> it's okay, I know. Your silence speaks volumes. She gets frustrated every time she looks up and sees you carrying that sword on your back. It makes her feel like a failure when it comes to her own destiny. Don't worry, it's not like you carry blame in any of this. It's unfortunate. She's put in more than enough time. Ever since she was a young girl, she's gone through rigorous daily routines to show her dedication. Hang on. She once passed out in the freezing waters trying to access this ceiling power. And she has nothing to show for it. That's the motivation driving her research. I'd be doing the same thing. She really is quite special. You be sure to protect her with your life. It's quite the honor. The night brings a chill. It's probably time we take her in. Hmm. Or... Ragusa! What was that? Did you feel that? Wait, what? How did you... What are you doing here? <laughs> What's so funny? Okay, that's uh, the memory. Pretty interesting, pretty exciting. All above. Looks pretty good. <laughs> Let's take that thing down. Oh, it's okay. I've already had enough practice, you know. Hmm. Okay, so we're not going to take a sand seal because I think renting one would... Going all the way to the opposite side of town and renting one would take longer than just walking there. Uh, yeah, but we're going to use Rivali Scale because we have one left and... <clears throat> The only thing you can really use Rivali's Gale is for shortcuts, so you don't have to climb up the buildings and stuff like that, so I'm going to use it for what it's intended for. So this is the South Outlook up Outpost. Okay, we landed a little short, but we're fine. Got that heat resistance going on. I mean, the only way you can really also... I think if you just take off your clothes, you also uh, lower your heat uh, bar, maybe. I don't know. Could be. Okay, so this is it. Where do we actually... Do we want to go up? I'm assuming she's waiting for us at the top of the... Maybe? Oh, God. Yep, there she is. Hello. Oh, of course. With bomb arrows. Okay, we have bomb arrows, so that's great. I think we had to buy them anyway. Yeah, don't worry, I'll retreat. Oh! Oh, she gives me 20. Oh! Well, I mean, it's good to have more anyway. It doesn't really matter. If I bought a little extra, we can always find something to use it on. Okay, now this is actually a pretty tricky... A pretty tricky... 
Divine Beast battle. It's not as hard as the Rodania. The Rodania one is just annoyingly long. Uh, but this... It's not long, but it's a little bit tricky. But it's fun, so... We'll see. Not great. Yeah. Let's move. I'm all, I'm all for it. And I think he is too. We also have to keep in mind that we are still missing six shrines. So as we'll be getting the memories after this and the next episode, we'll also be, have to be getting shrines as well as memories. <clears throat> okay, let's do this. So you have to stay in the shield. Uh, the tricky thing is, you can go two speeds, like very fast or very slow. I mean, far, let's say just fast or slow. And she goes like at a medium speed, so if you slow down, you become too slow for her. If you speed up, you become too fast. So you can't really uh, stay inside. You have to keep alternating between those two speeds to so stay inside the circle. It's kind of weird, but once you get the hang of it, it's fine. You also don't have to stay inside the circle the entire time. I'll show you when we get to the Divine Beast. Oh, there it is! So it only matters uh, that you're in the bubble once the lightning shoots. The rest of the time you can spend whatever you want. And you'll be able to see it because the circle will enclose around you. Get smaller and smaller. I'm not straying. And then you have to shoot each... Uh, one of these purple points twice with a bomb arrow. So you need eight bomb arrows if you do it perfectly. Oopsie! Boom! That's one. Uh-oh, where am I? Uh-oh! Oh! Okay, good thing I let go because I would have been frickin' annihilated. Oh, that's actually further away than I thought. Um, no, I can keep up the fight. Oh, we have some ground to catch now. Because she... You can also hear it charging, so you know when to go into the bubble. It's really... it gives you all the indicators in the world that it's preparing to shoot you. Boom! Nope. Boom! Oh, there's a shrine. What? Yeah, it took a couple good shots. I think they're all now to half health. And that one's down. And that one's down. Oh, come on. Nope, shit, I fell off. Uh, no, I don't want to retreat, dude. Stop asking me. I'll retreat on my own if I want to. Okay, I'm just going to go for it here because, I mean... Boom! There it is. Goodbye. That's right, you frickin' camel. There we go, it has been disabled. Unfortunately, I cannot appease Naboris on my own. I have no choice but to entrust the rest to you. Okay.
no problem at all. We can do this. Again, you could have gone with me and helped me, but I love how she says it. I can't do it on my own, so you go do it on your own. I mean, why not for both of us? I, I never said I wouldn't go, but, uh, you know, go with me at least. Ah, oh, jeez. Also, at least give me the frickin' Thunder Helm. I'm going to fight Thunder Blight Ganon. You'd think... You know, she'd actually offer to give me something that protects me from the lightning, but no, no, it's... You're good as you are, just, you know, go, and I'll hope for the best. Well, well, well. Hey, it's you me. Sure do know how to keep a woman waiting. Oh, sorry. I wait to see you take Noboris back from Ganon. One thing at a time. You'll need a map to find your way around. Oh, yeah, I remember this now. This is freaking painful. It's electricity and stuff. Ugh. Head over to that guidance stone over there. Sounds easy, right? Well, guys, in the next episode, we'll be doing exactly that. We'll be going through Divine Beast of Anaboris and defeating the final boss of the Divine Beasts, Thunderblight Ganon, which is going to be one heck of a duel. So, I hope you guys are excited for it. Uh, yes, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the episode, please leave it a like. It's always very, very much appreciated. And, yeah, stay tuned for more Breath of the Wild. I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>